challenges in today's world are complex. It is very difficult to see through the myriad of processes, causes and effects that all lead to the problem that we want to address. Before starting acting, we want to make sure that we will address the causes of the problem, not just its symptoms. Things happen for a reason. If we understand the causes of the problem and start addressing them, we can get to the result we'd like to see. Therefore, we need to analyze our problem before taking decisions about our solution. One way of doing this is drawing a problem tree. A problem tree is a mind map of causes and effects, and it helps us visualize the entire problem. When drawing a problem tree, we start with formulating a core problem, a negative situation that we would like to address. It is important to remember that the absence of solution is not a core problem. For example, children from a distant neighborhood in our town don't go to school in bad weather conditions. Here, missing bus connection is not a core problem. The core problem is the fact that they miss education. Let's imagine the problem tree. The core problem is the trunk of the tree. Branches are the effects of the problem. Very often, the most visible aspects of the problem in the society. Just like no tree would grow without its roots, there are no problems without causes. As said before, we want to address these causes, to cut them off, as they are the ones that fertilize our core problem. Let's look at Jacob's core problem, which is the trunk of the problem tree. Now we know that ASD persons have difficulties finding jobs. The branches are the effect of the problem. For example, one of the effects is their lifelong dependency on the social system. The roots are the causes of the problem. For example, we can have two causes. ASD persons are unable to find jobs and they don't have the basic abilities for joining the job market. Jacob decided to work with ASD persons who are searching for jobs and wants to create employment opportunities for them. As we already said before, societal challenges today are very complex. It is almost impossible for a single person to find a solution. Therefore, we need to involve our stakeholders in this problem analysis. The problem tree gives us a snapshot of the whole situation as we, for example, see in Jacob's case. There are lots of causes and lots of effects. We cannot solve them all alone and we cannot solve them all at once. Therefore, we need to prioritize and focus on the ones that we can solve. That will be our topic that we address. Thank you.